Alien Life News, NASA thinks this solar system planet once hosted life, and volcanic carbon from eruptions changed all that. Alien life may have once briefly thrived elsewhere in our solar system on a planet other than Mars. This is according to U.S. Space, space Agency NASA revealing. Tom Fish of Express UK reports. The planet Venus. It's today one of the least hospitable planets in our solar system. It's the second planet from the Sun. Features a crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere which is 90 times as thick as Earth's, and surface temperatures reaching 864 degrees Fahrenheit. But now NASA has calculated Venus may have once been home to alien life for billions of years. They say that a day there could have been as temperate as a spring day. Now, new NASA computer models of Venus climate history shows that until around 700 million years ago, temperatures ranged from 86 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cool enough for liquid water on the surface. NASA Pioneer Venus mission found in 1980s hints the planet once had a shallow ocean. But because it received far more sunlight than Earth, the scientists believe it had quickly evaporated before life could become established. And without water, no water, vanishing from the surface, CO2 levels rose in the temperature in the atmosphere, triggering a runaway greenhouse effect, creating its current hellish conditions. Now the latest computer modeling by the NASA Goodard Institute for Space Science suggests the ocean on Venus may have survived for up to 3 billion years. And this not only suggests life could have once evolved on Venus, it also opens up new possibilities about where aliens may exist outside of our solar system. Dr. Michael Way, the NASA study lead researcher, said, Our hypothesis is that Venus may have had a stable climate for billions of years. It's possible that the near-global resurfacing event is responsible for its transformation from an Earth-like climate to the hellish hothouse we see today. Our models show that there is a real possibility that Venus could have been habitable and radically different from the Venus that we know today. This opens up all kinds of implications for exoplanets found in what is called the Venus Zone, which may in fact host liquid water and temperature, temperate climates. Now, soon after its formation, at approximately 4.2 billion years ago, Venus would have completed a period of rapid cooling and carbon dioxide would have prevailed in its atmosphere. And if Venus evolved into an Earth-like way over the next 3 billion years, the carbon dioxide would have been drawn down by the rocks, locking it into the surface. We have a lot of carbon in our surface. Uh, the video before this one talks about the carbon lake underneath. Yellowstone, a molten carbon lake. And if it erupts, that can catch on fire. And of course, all of this going into our atmosphere will create, create climate chaos on Earth as well. But going back to this with Venus, by around 715 million years ago, its atmosphere would have been dominated by nitrogen with traces of carbon dioxide and methane similar to Earth today. And these conditions could have remained stable until present times. But Dr. Wei believes that intense volcanic activity around 700 million years ago transformed Venus. One theory is large amounts of magma bubbled up, releasing carbon dioxide from molten rocks into the atmosphere. The magma solidified before reaching the, the surface creating a barrier that meant the gas could not be reabsorbed, triggering runaway global warming. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.